Hi, Amanda Fisher, aka The Cashflow Queen. And today I want to talk about the reports in your accounting system and one of the reasons why you may struggle understanding your numbers. Because the bad news is that many businesses have been set up with their accounting system set up by their bookkeeper or accountant. And yes, I used to be guilty of doing this too, but they'd be, they were set up for them. And you would have a profit and loss statement, which shows your income and expenses. Income is basically one line of income, sales or fees or revenue, something like that. Very generic, doesn't really say much. And then the expenses would be listed in alphabetical order, invariably starting at accounting fees and ending up probably in website costs or wages. Doesn't really tell you much. So the problem is that if you've got a profit and loss statement that is in alphabetical order and doesn't have much description in it, you're not getting the meaningful information you need to have as a business owner. Now it's not difficult to reset it. All the headings are the same in the expenses, but you may want a lot more detail. For me, I usually recommend that advertising is split into the different types of advertising. So if you're doing Facebook ads and you're doing I know, maybe Google AdWords, maybe you've got a consultant you're working, who's working on the ads, M maybe you're paying someone to put um, some graphics together for it. Separate them out so you can start to see how much money is going in each of those pots, not just the overall pot of advertising. The same I do with subscriptions, which for me includes all the online subscriptions, so that's, you know, we all have hundreds of them. You know, the, the CRM, your accounting system, the list goes on and on. I know I have, I'm trying to minimize it, but I've probably got at least a dozen subscriptions I'm paying to regularly every month. And I have them all separately listed so that when I'm looking at my results, I can make sure A, that I haven't skipped a payment, but B, what it does is it puts it in my face so that I'm looking at it going, hang on a minute, why am I paying this subscription? I haven't used it. For example, Audible. Love the idea of it, but the reality is I never find time to listen to the books on Audible. So I look at it every month going, why am I paying this subscription to Audible? I'll, I'll, I'll listen to some this month. And then after a couple of months, I decided, let's be serious. I'm not going to listen to the Audible books too many other things to do, too much other opportunities and learning and other information. And I personally like to read a, a real book. So turn it off, stop it. But whilst it was sitting in subscriptions all muddled up together, I, I didn't even remember. Like, yes, I saw it go through the credit card and I knew it was there, but it wasn't kind of shouting me, looking me in the face going, hang on a minute. That's just, really? Do you need it? So potentially bunch things into like-minded stuff. You may have office expenses. So you've got rent, electricity and cleaning and parking and things relating to your office. Put them together. Put your advertising, promotion, marketing together. Put your um, you know, consultants, wages, all your employee type costs together. Put your subscriptions, as I say, they're a separate lot, all of them their own. And start to start to look at kind of what are the different components in your business. And at the same time, look at the income. Do you have income streams coming from different places? Or is it all one? If you're a product-based business, the chances are your business will all, it's just sales and that's fine, but you may want to segment it. But if you have a service-based business and you're providing different types of services, you might want to split them out. There's usually more detail in your accounting system and get advice on it, but Know that if you've got a report that's putting things in alphabetical order, it's not giving you the information that you need as the business owner. 
And at the end of the day, it's your business. So get some reporting that's giving you information that you can use to make smart decisions in your business, to understand what's happening in your business. Because it's in the knowing of what's going on in your business that you will improve and get greater success. Thank <laughs> you.